In Good Shape, your health magazine on DW, featuring an interview with a different expert every week. I'm here with Dr. Raman Sadi today in, with one of his patients, Mrs. Lippold. Hey, thanks. Um, so you're a foot surgeon and you do about operations on approximately 800 um, feet per year. Um, if we would all walk around barefoot, would you be out of job? Um, I don't think so, or I'm quite sure I wouldn't, because the problem, the whole problem of the bunion, of the so-called uh, hallux valgus, uh, is a genetic problem. So the genetic, the hered uh, hereditary problem, uh, or the issue of, um, of um, the chromosomes uh, in this case, uh, is mandatory. So um, if patients, you can, you, can, you can also look at civilizations um, out of Germany, out of Europe, um, or out of the Western world, and you will find also in, um, in populations where people walk barefoot, uh, a hallux valgus. So okay. it's a genetic problem. Yeah. So and, and you've got the bunion here. So so what 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 was your problem? So um, when did you realize that something is not okay? The balls of my feet hurt when I wear narrow high heels. If I wear them for several hours, I really feel it in the evening. How they're pressed here, it's very painful. So and if you do an examination of this foot, what what would you see? So I will show you. Um, you see here that the first metatarsal bone has a higher distance to the second. So this gap that you see here is, um, uh, is responsible uh, for the development of a hallux valgus. If this ray, of the, if the first ray, the first metatarsal bone, was more approximated to the second, you wouldn't see the metatarsal head here, and the, big, the bigger toe would stay in a straighter uh, position. Right. So the, the malpositioning of the first metatarsal bone, which is shifted to the mid-axis of, uh, of the patient, is the reason for the problem. Mm -hmm. So did you try anything um, to avoid this or to get rid of the pain by yourself? No, nothing. Nothing yet, but I've just decided to go for the operation. So, and you will perform surgery on this with your own method. So, so why did you create an own method? I looked at different methods that are common nowadays, that are being applied, uh, justifiedly uh, applied, and I put uh, different advantages um, of the shifting of the bone, of the cutting of the bone, and of the fixation into one method. And do you always have to perform surgery? Uh, well, the indication for the operation is m mainly the pain of the patient. So if the patient has pain, the indication is clear. So any degree of hallux valgus uh, has a justification to be operated on if, he has, if it's painful. At the other hand, of course, if you have a major um, deformity, yeah, right. the justification is uh, being given as well. So we're in the operation room and you're performing the surgery right now. So, so what is the usual way the um, other surgeons are using for this kind of operation? Um, well, um, um, I think now the, the usual approach is the approach that I'm using here uh, in the equatorial line of the foot and the uh, medial space. What we do now here is an approach from the medial side. And uh, so this is also not visible from above. So it's cosmetically, it's also better. At the other hand, it's also, it has also the advantage that we are not um, uh, in the danger of, uh, in a way, hurting the nerve that is right. uh, exactly here in this uh, area. So it's cosmetically better for the patient and for you as a surgeon, it's better because you can see better into the operation field. Yes, and actually the, the way I cut the bone is also right. um, um, has the necessity of having uh, the cut here in this uh, area. Okay. Mm. So, and, and after you did um, the first cut, uh, what, what else do you do differently? The way of cutting the bone is completely different to what we have until now described in literature. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> and the patient after the surgery is able to, to get up and walk? Definitely is able to walk right away. This means uh, this osteotomy that I have here, yeah. that means bone reconstruction that I have here and the fixation by this mm -hmm. plate and the six screws is so stable that the patient can walk, walk immediately after the operation without uh, any crutches or uh, any special shoe de device. Okay. But of course he should stay uh, in bed for the majority of the three days that 
he spends in the hospital in order to get the wound dry. So it's a three-day stay then? Exactly. And, and what about, it? does this thing reoccur after a while or is it healed? Um, if you operate this correctly, you can see it right away and document it in the, in the x-ray. It's quite visible that you did everything right. So this is um, something that you can be sure about that uh, the operation has been successful. At the other hand, this device that you have here, this plate that I've constructed for this operation, is very stable. It's quite stable, and so I can even operate on men with over uh, 100 kilograms with the same device. There are no different devices. Either the woman's 50 kilo or the man is 100, 100 kilo or more, I use the same plate. So this uh, plate is very stable. And um, the third, uh, and if this uh, stable plate should crack, well, there must be some problem from the side of the patient, maybe, or from the pro production side, which is uh, very um, unprobable. So the bunions occur in both sides of the body? Uh, in two thirds of the cases, you have the bunion and uh, both uh, on, on both feet. Yeah. And actually, I don't hesitate to operate both feet at once. And so the majority of my cases are bilateral cases. Oh, really? Yes. Like this yeah, patient. Be, 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 because they can get up, uh, otherwise... Um, exactly, because they have this um, possibility to put mm -hmm. full weight bearing on the foot. So you're using a different approach through yes. the skin, you're using a different technique to saw the bone. Not, this, not the approach, yeah. but the, the, the sawing technique of the bone is completely different. It's completely different. Yes. And you've got your, your own plate you're putting into the foot. Completely different. And you say it's very superior to this, what the other surgeons worldwide do. So why don't they just copy your... Um, method here, um, why well, don't they do yours? Everybody asks me this, especially the patients yeah, right. uh, that come from abroad and from, from ho uh, the whole German area. Um, so the reason is I didn't publish it yet. So I have now more than 10,000 feet and I'm going to publish it. Uh, but until now, I didn't want to have anybody else to have the learning curve that I had. So okay. I just uh, kept it for myself. And I'm, uh, I will, I will uh, ask anybody who wants to imitate the surgery to come to me and get it from my uh, hands. Or to watch our program and uh, just to... Well, maybe. Maybe it, <laughs> it won't be sufficient enough, but okay. yes. <laughs> yeah, thanks for inviting me today. You're very welcome. Thank you.